So today I want to make a track from scratch using Logic Pro on the 12.9 inch iPad Pro M2. Um, and I'm using some accessories. I'm using the Complete Control Mark II, which Native Instruments did provide to me a while back. The Audion ID14 Mark II, which I bought myself. It's a USB audio interface, USB-C audio interface, which is great. It's been awesome with all the iPads I've tried it with. It's plugged into an adapter that's no longer listed on Amazon, but it's a generic USB-C adapter with two USB-A ports, PD, power in, and a SuperSpeed 3.0 USB-C port, which is what the interface is plugged into. And then it's on this stand that I recently got that's just really brought the iPad to life. Not sponsored. None of this is sponsored. I'll link all of this, anything that is listed on Amazon though with affiliate links if you do want to check it out. Those links give me a little bit of a commission at no cost to you, so kind of a win-win. And then I have my Shure Beta 58A plugged into the interface if I want to record vocals or sample myself. And then I'm using my trusty Shure SRH1540s, which are like the best headphones I've ever used. And all of this is set up into a single cable from the adapter into the iPad, which is really cool. And it's part of why I like this whole setup because the iPad isn't just about portable music making for me, it's about having a portable brain that can just be used on the touchscreen by itself with, a, with the built-in speakers or scale out to something like this in a studio. So anyway, let's uh, make a track from scratch and kind of talk through what we're doing. So if you watched my tutorial last week, I like to make all my stuff in live loops, which is essentially like clips in Ableton or session view. And today I want to start with a new plugin I recently got, so we're going to just hit the plus sign, MIDI, hit the knob icon, add an instrument, and I recently bought the Baby Audio BA1. The ads finally got to me on Instagram. <laughs> just a really classic sounding synth, and I really dig the sound. Wow, I'm actually getting really close to an idea really quick. I don't know if that means it's like too simple or it's good, who knows? No, no, no. Very common, but let's still go with it. All right, let's uh, choose a tempo. All right, 133 it is. Done. Turn on the metronome, close that out. Let's set a default, cell default for a cell length of eight bars. There you go. And we're gonna set recording length to cell length. Now every cell will default to eight bars. Okay, I think I've got it. Do I just have that wrong in my head? I don't know. That's why. That's why. It added. I messed up when I set the cell default. Whoops. We added a little extra beat. I'm like, why is this not working? There we go. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. I was like, I think this is working. <laughs> like, I think I'm playing okay. I don't know what I was doing. That was it. Yeah, baby. Okay, cool. Let's add, let's do something I did. I thought I saved this. I thought I saved the Moog base I built, but I don't think I did. There's Echo Moog, but that's not it. Um, cool, let's build a Moog base really quick. So we're gonna new track, model 15. I believe I used the, I want to say chorus bass? Maybe. Oh, I think it was this deep sequence bass. Yep, which already sounds amazing. Then we're going to add the Baby Audio Super VHS. Okay. The ma 
magic button, I think, is just like a chorus button, but it sounds really good. All right, all right, all right. You know what, let's just arpeggiate it. I think that's what I did on the last one too, so just add an arpeggiator. This is gonna be way too fast, 16th notes. Let's turn that down to eighths. Oh yeah, we might turn that chorus off. Yeah, that chorus on the Super VHS is too much because I think that, that first synth already has a lot of chorus going on. And we'll just have the bass be kind of bassy, you know what I mean? I think I have a line I like, so it'll be like dun 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 build something new again. I can't remember if you can record directly into the quick sampler. Let's find out. Do new MIDI track, instrument, sampler, quick sampler. I think you have to drag or drop. So we'll record audio and then drag that audio directly into the quick sampler. Let's make an audio track and We'll make sure we're only on input one to mono. I believe we have to, how do we have to, what do we do to hear this? Hello, hello. Hmm. I will figure this out. Input, there we go. Oh, but it's, uh, it's panned all the way to the right, which is dumb. Oh, actually, that was me. I hit the stereo out at some point. Okay, cool. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, let's see. Let's just play the whole thing. Hi. Hi. Yeah, something like that. Hi. So now we have this. No, don't do that. See if we can. Okay, that isn't gonna do exactly what I want. Can I copy the audio? Can I just, yeah, here we go. Let's optimize it, why not? Hi. Hi. There we go. All right, input is off. We can actually delete this channel. Delete it. Uh, now we just have the quick sampler. Uh, and we're gonna shorten the start. Uh, 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 Get rid of all that tail.
Arms are sweaty. Knees are weak. Mom's spaghetti. Um, it's wild. All right. that but let's see if there's some effects we can add to maybe make it even better let's see what kind of delays we've got let's do a delay designer and see what kind of presets we have let's do complex filtered banded pattern let's try that Actually, Beat Breaker could be fun on here. I love Beat Breaker. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's something. <laughs> the beat breaker and the delay, it's gonna play a little bit after I stop. That makes sense. I think we need some drums. So let's go to browser, instrument patches, drums. I actually really like the kits that are in Logic um, and I don't have a bunch of drum like plugins that I actually really like on iPad. I really would love it if uh, battery, like all the native instrument stuff came over, but especially like battery and I could install all my machine expansions. That would be sick. You can export them, but honestly, native instrument support, Arturia support, these are things I'm really hoping happen. Yeah, I think that would work. Okay. I'm not like 100% sold on this kit, but I think it'll work for what we're doing. Either of those kicks, but I do like. Um, actually, I, do that. I do like this clap, so we'll add the clap. <laughs> to start a church's song? Not really. Am I gonna make a church's song? Apparently. All right, let's uh, get a different kit. I kind of like that, even though it's kind of dumb. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, add, let's add that, why not?
this again because I want to add this little <laughs> duplicate. Record mode. Bump, 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 bump. This kit has another kick because all the kicks I've heard so far are garbage. This doesn't has one kick. All right. We need a kit with a good kick. That's like a boom bap kit. Could work. Yeah, let's try this. Should do we should just copy this just copy the cell and paste the cell and just see what it sounds like ideally all the same I don't, it's not perfect, but we're gonna just keep going with it. Okay, yeah, is this even quantizing at all? Yeah, it has the same quantization because we copied the cell. That is chef kiss emoji. All right, cool. So we're building out something interesting here. Let's, um, let's add some bad vocals, you know what I'm saying? Now we're gonna add another audio track. Audio, we can't hear it, so we're gonna go back up here. And I honestly wish it defaulted to mono input for audio. I kind of get why it wouldn't, but I still wish it did. All right, yep, there we go. Stereo output, that was good. I don't think it used to do that, and that used to be really annoying. Okay, whoops, I still wanna be in here. Compressor, that's nice. Okay, cool. And there's already an EQ. Man, they know just what I need. All right. Whoops, a daisy. Let's, um, can I just, can you undo parameter changes or is it going to undo like other jazz? Yeah. Okay, cool. Sweet. We really don't want too much bass because I'm holding this dynamic microphone right up to my mouth. Ba -na -da -na. All right, let's see. That's weird. Okay. It's definitely there. Okay. Okay, I think it's okay, I think it's actually not. Let's turn off Black Hole Reverb. I'm actually now almost 100 percent certain the output is not stereo, which is so annoying. So we're gonna delete that. And now we're going to change the output here in the mix area. Our output is going to be stereo i do want stereo let's just put bus create new bus great add an audio effect now we'll add black hole okay now i feel like that's spacious you hear me? you see what i'm saying you know you know what i don't think black hole is going to be the reverb for us for this one that's funny all right let's get rid of that just do chroma verb. Let's just do the classic chroma verb. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Let's do halls. Vocal hall. 
Okay. What is that? That was horrible. Okay, for this one, I don't want the cell defaults. Record length looks like it's automatic. That's good. Okay, cool. too long rather but we can fix that edit we don't want 17 we want 16 okay i don't hate this i think is there is there like a latency on that Coldplay chorus. Let's do it. Duplicate. Erase. First, and we have like a chorusy vocal thing. Let's add a bridge. Uh, yeah, yeah, here we, we go. go. And yeah, if this, this wasn't obvious, this is all improvised. So if it sounds bad, my bad. And I don't know what 
This is what we have so far, and I think I could do a lot more, but I'm going to call it here. So I hope you enjoy this little track, and I hope you enjoyed watching me kind of make this little thing. Stop, stop, trigger. <laughs> for watching i hope you have an awesome week ahead i hope you had a good long weekend if you have one and um consider checking out my music if you'd like i've got an album called there's something better it's on all the streaming services Bandcamp, all that jazz it would mean the world if you check that out and thank you to everyone who's liked and subscribed y'all are the best and uh yeah like i said affiliate links below if you're interested but no worries if not have a great week peace Ha, ha, ha.